lot of people get confused on the different chapters, 7, 11, 12, 13. Uh, I think it's important to clarify that chapter 13 is a debt reorganization plan. You're not eliminating your debt 100%, right? but you're getting time to repay it, whether that be in full or 10% or some variance in between. But you are keeping your property, repaying your creditors over the next three to five years. Yeah. So it's a great way to stretch out your debt. But w what kind of situations would Chapter 13 be beneficial to someone? Well, it would be beneficial, for example, if uh, you owned a home and you had uh, too much equity in the home. Uh, we had a show uh, uh, not very long ago where we were talking about Chapter 7 and uh, indicating a, that there's basically a $15,000 per individual exemption um, for for the home, uh, you know, for your uh, the equity that you have that and you could, that that's you could the keep. amount they can keep free and clear while not paying their creditors exactly okay. and very often sometimes people fall into the other category where you know what they have you know maybe more maybe it's an older couple uh, or maybe it's you know uh, just they have more equity than that and so they're not an appropriate candidate for a chapter seven you know if we're just talking about that reason because they just have simply too much equity in the house but they still want to keep their home and also, too, with the Chapter 7, uh, you have to be caught up in your uh, mortgage payments uh, or you got to give the house back, one or the other. Uh, but with the Chapter 13, if you're behind, it doesn't matter how far you're behind, all of that arrearage can go into the kitty and right. to, uh, you know, to, to get you out from, from under that. So it's a really, really good, good tool, especially in the climate of the times that we have now, uh, to, to provide some relief. And yeah, the important thing to note with Chapter 13 is the person or couple must have available money per month. So right. their income minus their expenses, there has to be something left over that they can contribute to a Chapter 13 trustee to reorganize their debt. A lot of people don't have that ability to reorganize because they just don't have a positive cash flow each month. And those people are better qualified for Chapter 7, fresh start, or otherwise liquidating their property if, if there's equity like you said. So there is a hurdle that they have to get over. They have to have the ability to pay something per month, which is tough. Well, yeah, and sometimes, you know, you see people, unfortunately, I see people that are in between. Can't do a Chapter 7, can't do a Chapter 13 for the reason that you said. But, you know, you look at the allowable uh, expenses, and after any money that's left after the allowable expenses, you know, that's what you have for the for the plan that you're going to repay. But uh, the, the problem, though, is, I mean, you know, it's, it's only one of two things. Either more money, either make more money, or you spend less and you know you have to really really be lean in a chapter 13 and to 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 kind of do that for 3 to 5 years can sometimes can sometimes really really be a challenge